Hi friends, welcome to DevOps Ansible Commands course video series presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see introduction about Ansible commands. Okay, let me start that. The Ansible commands are used to manage entire infrastructure or clients or nodes from Ansible master or Ansible admin client. See, on the which server you deployed your Ansible, that is called, suppose, Ansible admin client or master. And remaining all servers in your infrastructure are called clients or nodes. Okay, you can use any terminology, either admin, Ansible admin client, and remaining all are clients for this Ansible admin client, or Ansible master and remaining all nodes. So here, Ansible commands, first of all, we have to run those Ansible commands from Ansible admin client. Then why we are running, what is the purpose of Ansible commands means? In order to perform some task, in order to perform some task on your clients or on your nodes, we have to run Ansible commands. Right? Now, in order to complete your task or tasks, Ansible commands uses different modules based on which task you are going to complete on its clients. Based on that, you have to use different modules. Task means like, uh, suppose if you want to install some software on your clients, then that is one task. For that, you have to use some different module in your Ansible commands or copying files or uh, transferring files from your uh, Ansible admin client to your clients or create new users. So whatever may be task, but based on your required task, you have to select any one of the module from your Ansible. Okay, there are so many modules based on your requirement. Okay. Now, the basic syntax for any Ansible command. Okay. Like this is Ansible. Okay, this is Ansible you have to fix it, then group name, hyphen M, module. Hyphen M means just it says that this is the option to say that this is the module. Hyphen A, arguments. Now this is the basic syntax, syntax for your Ansible commands. Okay, now let me explain that in detail. Suppose if it is some basic syntax for your Ansible command, so it, we are having like Ansible, then group name. This group name is from your inventory host, host file or inventory file. Then iPhone M. Here you will select module based on your task. There are so many modules, we will see them one by one. Then arguments. So here arguments are optional. Sometimes it's required, sometimes it may not be a required the optional argument. Okay. Now you have to remember some points here. Those are, suppose in place of group name, okay? Uh, anyway, that group name is always from your inventory file. You can write here any one of your group name from your inventory file or not only group name, even you can also write straight forward any uh, single host name or IP address, okay? And Multiple host names also you can represent, but each host name must be separated with colon. Or you can also represent multiple groups and they must be separated by a colon. And multiple hosts as well as multiple group names you can select, you can write in place of this. Right? So here whatever you are writing that may be a group name or multiple groups or multiple host names or multiple host names and multiple group names, but all must be separated by a colon symbol. Okay. Or instead of instead of representing either host or group names, whatever the uh, data is there on your inventory file, whatever the host names or group names are there in your inventory file, if you want to run your command on all clients, on all your clients, then simply Write a keyword all in place of group name. Ansible all iPhone M your module. Whatever the task based on that your module. 
okay anyway here hyphen a arguments they are optional now to in order to understand this uh, syntax let me go with very simple concept uh, simple module that is ping module so we know that generally ping it is used to check the connectivity of host now let me run my simple ping module based on this different data i mean on single ip a single host or multiple hosts or a single group or multiple groups or on all groups right let me explain that let me open my ansible admin client server now this is my ansible admin client server and i am having my ansible inventory file here and as of now suppose just assume i am having some web server group okay and app server groups and database server groups now let me run that ping module using your ansible so first thing basic syntax is ansible here you have to mention after ansible you have to mention either group name or host name or multiple groups or a multiple host names or multi combination of hosts and groups you can represent in any way now first let me go with any one of these group i am going with suppose i am going to run my ping command i mean my ping task on this web servers group let me copy that and i am going to paste that web servers then our task is ping so you have to that is a module so you have to select with hyphen m option hyphen m ping now i am going to enter observe that okay success right now you are getting for ping you are getting form then this is a success now instead of running your ping on this single group you can also run on multiple groups but in that case let me take multiple groups i am going to take suppose app server group then i am having database servers group now i want to run my ping on these two servers i mean on these two groups yes you can run it but whenever if you want to run your uh, task on based on your requirement either single server i mean single group or multiple groups all must be a separate with a colon now let me run this and observe your output yes it's got success right then if you want to run your ansible command okay on single host yes you can straight forward you can mention either ip address or host name if you are having host name you can mention that host name as well ansible host name module is ping yes it's working you can also write a combination of a host names as well as group names here but separate with a colon now suppose uh, we are taking this now I, i will write app server groups along with your this ip address or this host name now let me run that now yes it's working so this is the way first of all how to use your ansible commands okay very basic module is a ping module and we know that that ping is used to check connectivity so you have to remember uh, this syntax in order to run any ansible command so ansible then either group name or host names or multiple group names or multiple host names or combination of group names and host names then hyphen m your required module based on your task you have to select one of the module from your ansible then these are optional arguments okay so guys this is the uh, very basic introduction about your ansible commands thank you for watching this video do subscribe my channel so that you will get our notifications whenever you post some new videos okay guys bye